Hey everybody, today I'm playing F125. I'm gonna go through my settings and show you how to optimize the VR experience to make it the best possible experience that you can have. I've watched quite a few videos recently of people covering the game and it's nice that people are being positive, but for me, it's a little bit irritating because they will do a real basic check on the settings. They haven't done it thoroughly and they are showcasing the game, in my opinion, in the wrong way. The best way to go about getting the best visual performance experience is to look at the resolution and to look at the anti-aliasing, not to change the graphical settings. The graphical settings are so good in this game, the graphical quality is so good, you can have that really, really low. Low to ultra high doesn't make much of a difference. What does make a difference in this game is the draw distance. If you don't know what draw distance is, that's how far in front of you that you can see and how clear that is. And to change that, you need good anti-aliasing, anisotropic filtering, and you need the resolution as high as you can go. So I'm going to show you the settings that are really important to get a really good experience. And trust me, if you change these, it's going to be a really, really good experience in F125. Okay, so if we go into the menu, the first thing everybody needs to do is go into graphic settings and at the top you've got video mode click on that and here you have anisotropic filtering you need to have that as high as you can possibly have it for your hardware and then anti-aliasing you want it TAA and fidelity FX sharpening once you've done that you then want to go to VR settings and in here you have a setting where you can override Steam VR scaling values. So what that does is it allows you to scale up the resolution of the game within the game rather than coming out and having to do that in Steam. And you can see above, if I go up, it's telling me what my resolution is. So if I go down to 100, which is the native resolution of the Quest 3, this is what most people will be playing at. If I save that, and I go back in, that's only 3072 by 3216. I had it to 157. That is a huge jump. And that's going to give you such a big boost in clarity of your picture. Now in this game, because the graphics are already really, really good, the lowest settings look fantastic. You do not need to be upgrading that. What does need upgrading is the resolution, the clarity, and the elazing. If you don't know what elazing is, it's the blurry edges that you get on the edge of objects, which can be really flickery and very off-putting in VR. VR is totally different to a flat screen. In flat screen gaming, it's not so noticeable, but in VR, that really is. So that gives you really clear lines and really good clarity and sharpness on objects. And then your resolution is how clear the picture looks. So it's similar to having a pair of glasses. If your resolution is low, then it's like the glasses haven't been cleaned for a little while. And then when your resolution is high, it's like you've given them a really good clean. You put them on, you're like, wow, yeah, that's how everything is supposed to look. And so this is what we're doing here. We're making everything really clear and we're giving us the best picture at a distance as well, not just close to you. If you just focus on graphical settings, you're going to get a really good picture 10 meters away from you but then when you go 20 30 it's going to be really muddy really blurry i had a really long play yesterday i went through all the different settings different resolutions different graphical settings i did everything i've been really thorough and i promise you this is the best way to go okay so i'm just going to quickly go into my graphic settings so you can see that i have everything on low One thing I do have on is the variable rate shading. That needs to stay on. You will get a performance hit if you don't have that on. I took it off and I forgot and something was wrong with the picture and I couldn't work it out. I popped it back on and then the picture was absolutely fine. So it does make a difference. And I've got NVIDIA Reflex on. If you've got an NVIDIA card, that allows you to have lower latency. So it just means that the, the picture is traveling a little bit quicker. Latency is the the time it takes to go from the PC to you being able to see it through your lenses. Okay, here we go.
So you will see that the frames will be around 90. They might drop to about 85 occasionally. But it's going to stick to around 90 frames per second really well. Latency is between 40 and 50. The image quality is really, really good. This is a really good experience. Oh, that was way too fast going into that corner. Lost that position. Trying to multitask here. I wasn't doing it very well. Now you can see the frames per second really aren't dropping much at all. There was a slight drop there. The graphics in this game are really, really impressive. They really are. The only problem is the image quality, the sharpness, the clarity. And that's my concern. My concern is that people are going to play with the graphical settings and they're not going to play around with the resolution and they're not going to have a very good experience and they're going to think that that's the only experience that they can have. I really wish people who have been showcased in the game and saying that it is a good experience would have just had a little bit longer to play around with the settings before they did that. I know that creators, they want to get videos out because when it's a hot topic, they're going to get more views. But it's important to make sure that what they're saying is the, pos the best possible advice that they can give people and the best experience. Especially in VR because, you know, we want as many new VR players, we want as many conversions from flat to VR as possible. And if you give somebody the wrong advice and they go in and their first impression isn't a good one, then potentially they're going to be put off and they might not want to have a second try. As you can see, performance is pretty stable. I'm recording at the same time as well, so, you know, if I wasn't recording, this would be a little bit better too. The little drops that I've had, like I just had one there, probably wouldn't be there. And I really am pushing the resolution. The resolution is very, very high. But it's worth it really do try and push that as much as you can. You're going to have to play around with what resolution you can have where you've got that consistent performance and different tracks are going to be different and you want to find settings that work on every track. Potentially you might be able to tailor to the track if you're happy to put the time in but most people just want to have general settings that they can rely upon. You don't want to be changing it every time you go onto a different track. Let's see if I can make up any ground on these cars in front. I feel like that's the same distance as the last time I was here. Well, oh, that was sketchy. What a fun game though. That was better. Well, there was a big stutter there. My headset just came up with low battery, so it was probably linked to that. Okay, here's the gap that we're trailing the car ahead by. 2.1 seconds. Oh, wow, that was a big gap. Oh, 
Oh, that was terrible. Okay, mate, final lap. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home. Oh, no. We're not overtaken. We're going to get that place back. Yes, we are. This feels like better driving. So far, so good. Hopefully, I am closing the gap. Well, that wasn't good. Is there a car behind me? Yeah, I think it might have caught me. Well, that was just my bad driving. No, that wasn't very good. That was too slow. Okay. Where did I finish? Flag. No, we're not where we want to be. Sit. It's not a great. Serious work to do. Close the gap. I believe in you all. So okay. So those are the settings that I recommend. You will have to tailor the game to the hardware that you have. But definitely prioritize the resolution and the alazing and keep the graphical settings on low doesn't make much of a difference at all if you've got really good hardware if you've got 5090 then yes you might be able to boost it a little bit more but i would actually boost the resolution i would always boost the resolution in this game because the the graphics are already there they're already really really good there's no need to try and improve them at all it's all about trying to get that clarity so you can see further ahead and it feels really clear